What up, everybody? This is your boy Theo Pence here. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss any Run Your Race content. At the, I don't know if I started at the five, but I played a lot of minutes with Jokic. Mm. We had a hell of a game. Yeah. But it didn't matter. It didn't matter. <laughs> I guess it wasn't a part of the plans. It wasn't part of the. <laughs> You're showing too much. It wasn't a part of it. Yeah. Um. So I didn't even really play a lot that game mm -hmm. Um. or that series. But the last game we played, we lost to the Phoenix Suns. And I think we lost by like 30 or something. And mm. I got in at the end. Mm. Um, like on the garbage time minutes, but I was like that whole that whole era where I wasn't playing. I was I was getting extra extra work on trying to play five on five, one on one. I was just in my bag. Like I felt like I, it was the summer for me. Yeah, and you know the summer for bigs is different from the summer for guards and mm -hmm. stuff. Guards and stuff they working on what they're gonna actually do. Yeah, in the goddamn game. Yeah. Bigs, <laughs> Unfortunately, now bigs are like just running around and catch lives. So in the summer, we can't just do that all day. In mm -hmm. the summer, we point guards. We yeah. fucking shoot guards. We going crazy. Going crazy. So I was, so I'm going crazy in, in the practice and shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The little scrimmage of three on three, blah, blah, just the yeah. conditioning practices type yeah. shit. And then uh, we go to, uh, and then we play Phoenix. We lose that last game, the elimination game, I believe, first round. Yeah. And uh, I get in garbage time, and coach look at me. He said, you want to go? I'm like, yep, damn right. I'm gonna go in. Get some, get the workout in. <laughs> shit, fuck it. So I get in. Uh, I'm playing hard, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, and then I think uh, Chris Paul comes up to me after the game, and he like, bro, I, I, I rocks with what you was doing out there. I'm like, what you mean, bro? I'm just playing basketball. Yeah. He's like, nah, bro, you ain't had to go in there and really like play for real, for real. Yeah. And you still was going crazy. I was like, for sure. And then I feel like that was like the initiation of, damn, maybe I could go there next year. And mm -hmm. then. Talk yeah. about that. Y'all um, was rolling. Man, amazing, bro. A group of guys who are really just locked in and fun. Like, and coming off of. Finals loss. Coming off a of finals loss, yeah. yeah. So I, I, in my mind, I, I'm like, oh shit, it's like a deja vu. Yeah. I just came from I was when I was uh when I got to Golden State that first year. Mm -hmm. They had just lost. I came, we won. I'm like, oh yeah, it's deja vu. Yeah. Blah blah. So um, I get there. It's instant. I instantly fit in. It's like instant. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm with the energy. I'm with it all. Mm -hmm. um, I do all my little rah rah before the game, or whatever. Yeah. Play the clip. Um, it's hilarious. Play the clip. <laughs> <laughs> I do my little rah rah, and I've been doing that since the Lakers, I believe. Yeah. Mm. Um, and we got 15 different handshakes for everybody. Like we just really have fun and we are rolling through teams. I think we might've had been playing bad like the first three to four games maybe. Then y'all got hot. And then we went 18, we 18 wins in a row. And we were going crazy. And the first day I got there, I'm, I'm doing my little rah-rah or whatever. First thing I say is, we the best team in the motherfucking world. Mm -hmm. And I believed it. Everybody believed it. Mm -hmm. And everybody believed that. And we were the mm -hmm. number one team the, the, the whole year. The whole year. Um, 18 wins in a row, franchise record, 64 wins. So, yeah, we going crazy. Were y'all gunning for it? Uh, what do you mean? Did y'all know that y'all was going for the franchise record? No. Or it just happened? No, it just happened. We was just, we just like, we're going to try to get as many wins as possible. Yeah. Because like, so y'all want a home best court. Best position yeah. ever in, in the playoffs. Got you. Um, yeah. And, bro, the team, the team is so well put together. It's well coached. Monty is extremely, communi he communicates a lot. He tells mm. you what it is. He tells you what it ain't. He tells mm. you if you're going to play. He tells you if you're not going to play. He tells you what he needs from you. He tells him if you're on some bullshit. Yeah. He, he keep it 100 with you. And I, and I love that about Monty. Um Playing with Chris Paul is a, is a crazy experience just because you get to experience like a mega mind of a of a basketball player. Someone mega. who sees plays like yeah. two, three plays ahead, like yeah. tendencies. Like mm -hmm. he's 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 a, and, I, and I've been blessed to be able to play with players like that, like LeBron and just I, play I've played with, with a, dogs. I didn't play with a, a, a whole I've played with probably a starting 15 of Hall of Fame players for real. Easily. Like, like if I really like Easily. counted it out. Um, but yeah, just playing Book, with that, playing with just Book, taking just, look, off. just looking at a dog in his eyes every day, just a bucket mm. that just wants to go at everybody's neck. Um, true I mean, dog. True dog, for sure. Um, I mean, it was amazing, man. It was truly amazing. 